hello everybody welcome back to another video so first off i want to say that i am a little bit sick so that's why my voice is the way <laughs> the way that it is today star stable released the new welsh ponies which is very exciting for me because i have been waiting so long for the new welsh ponies so yeah we're gonna head over and go grab them i think they're at the cottage place the on south hoof i really like this one but I really like the liver chestnut too, and I'm a simp for liver chestnut, so I'm gonna get this one first. If I want the other ones, I can get them on the other accounts that I have. Um, and I finally have enough on my main to get another horse. And thank God SSO made them 800 star coins, because if they would have made them 950, I probably wouldn't have gotten them today, just because I don't want a ton of horses on this account and have no money. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to look at before I started the review was size comparison. And I feel like this is really important because of how awkward I think some characters look on the ponies. Standing up beside the horse, that means that our characters are very short because size B horses don't get very tall at all. Am I short? Me being tall in real life, I'm like 5'10", 5'11", in real life. So me standing up beside a pony like this and being this short in a game is so weird to me. It's so whack. I just, I can never get used to it. Here is the final look. Okay, ma'am, you're photobombing a little bit. So here's Falcon, the newest addition to the family. Um, here's his look. I didn't even notice it until I purchased him, but look at the little patterns on his hooves. That is so cute. We're gonna get right into the review. The Welsh Pony, or Cobb as sizes vary, has survived the toughest climates and brutal conditions in the wild to be where the breed is today. Commonly known as the Welsh Mountain Pony, this breed was discovered in Wales, hence the terminology of their name. Their features, personality, and adaptable part of the horse kingdom has made history, including King Henry VIII trying to correct their small breed by making the smaller size into a bigger horse. Thankfully unsuccessful with his attempts, today's world gets to see the wonders of the beloved Welsh Pony. The Welsh Pony, or sometimes marketed as the fun size equine, is the perfect size for most younger generation's riders or smaller equestrians, making them a good option for younger riders or smaller riders who can't handle bigger horses. The most popular discipline among this breed is hunters, but Welsh Ponies can be used for basically anything, meaning the market for Welshies is never not in demand. Star Sable released Generation 2 of the Welsh Ponies in 2016. Generation 1 wasn't very relevant because of how new the game was when they came out, so I'm focusing on the second generation. Star Sable also released South of Peninsula, where a wild herd would run around the island. Between 2016 and 2021, the community practically begged for the breed to be released. When we got the Chincoteague Pony, I personally believed that we finally had the perfect hunter's pony to fill in the space of the Welsh Pony but I wasn't convinced, which sucks because I've always wanted a good all-around pony in the game. The Welsh Pony can come in many variations and sizes, but obviously I am not that experienced with the different classes it represents. I did try my best to do a good bit of research before I made this video, so if I did make any mistakes, I apologize. You guys can correct me in the comments. So the Welsh Pony Section A is like the founding fathers of the rest. This pony can stand up to 12 hands, anything higher is another section. Pony Section B can stand up to 13.2 hands and has more definition in its neck and withers and presents more of a sport horse stature. Section C and D are the bigger versions in range and size and appearance. SSO made this Welsh Pony Section B. SSO went for more of a sports pony look. After reviewing both real life representations and the game, I've narrowed down a few pointers. SSO really nailed the slim face shape and wider body look, but the eyes were similar to the Frisian in SSO. Very cartoonish, very sparkly, not a lot of realism, but at the same time, I am onto the idea that we just have a few different artists on the team that may work on different horses, meaning their designs won't all match up. Now that we've gone over the history of the breed, some good old SSO past updates, and I have bored you to death with some information, let's get right into reviewing the Generation 3 Welsh Pony on Star Stable. Please do remember that this is an opinion-based video. I will be mixing opinion with facts and also some evidence to show you what the Welsh Pony looks like in the game. Do not take it seriously. Everyone should respect each other's opinions. If you do like these types of videos, make sure to show your support by liking this video and subscribing. It really does help. The Welsh Pony was released with the Bay Roan, the Palomino, the Flaxen Chestnut, the Liver Chestnut, the Black, Dapple Grey, and the Light Grey, one of which is going to be coming out on the app. With this breed, we have a bigger variation of unique hairstyles, including three types of braids and also a short and longer type of roach mane.
I love all of the gates, especially the trot and the canter, but the hand gallop and above is a very forward type gait. I'm not sure if Welsh ponies are naturally like this, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but this whole breed just has a forward type to it. The forward jump, the forward gates, the forward position, the posture, everything just seems so forward and like stretched out. A lot of the horse moves differently but still in sync, and I like how it isn't so stiff. The jumps on the other hand, the front half is really good. Everything about this breed is very forward. When it lifts itself off, the whole body pushes out forwards. The front legs are in good formation, neck is stretched, the torso matches, but the back legs? Again with the straight legs from the start of the jump. It makes it pretty awkward. But the front half definitely makes up for the back end. For the new tack, we have a double bridle and also a show halter. What do you think of the new Generation 3 Welsh ponies on Star Stable? Do you like them, dislike them, and why? Here's some opinions that some of you left on my Instagram. To be more involved in my filming process or just leave some answers for possible future videos, check out my media below. It definitely gets everyone more involved. If you got a Welsh pony, what did you name it? I want to hear all of the cute names you all picked out. If you didn't get a Welsh pony, which breed do you want added to SSO next? That is all for today. I hope you all enjoyed yet another SSO horse review. I hope all of you are doing good, staying healthy and safe, staying hydrated. I will see you all in the next video.